real quickly before I started this, I just want to say that um, on the day that I have filmed this particular video was um, Indigenous Peoples Day. So I want to start out by acknowledging with gratitude that um, the traditional ancestral and unceded lands of the human peoples, including the territory of the Hamulban, uh, the Komiya Nation, of which uh, my st studio stands on today. Um, I just wanted to put that out there. Um, now on with today's video. Alright guys, I have one thing to say. Cruising is back! <laughs> guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't know if you can tell by the title of this video, I got a little bit overexcited here. Yeah, it's awesome. it's so great now because look at this. Two cruise ships in town. Cruising back. Celebrity Millennium finally back here as well. Uh, a little bit of fun fact, this was parked off our coastline for a good chunk of this pandemic. Very excited to see that it is finally taking on passengers here at the Broadway Pier today. So, I literally just stood like right near the bow of this thing. It's huge, ginormous. So, I um, think this is a gas turbine cruise ship over here. And then over here, we got the Disney Wonder. I don't think I have this on YouTube yet, but um, yes, and now I do. So let's have a look over here and examine this, because I I featured Disney Wonder on Instagram before, but I don't think I featured it on YouTube yet. So let's have a look over here. So just a little recap here. Um, one, the Disney Wonder is the only Disney cruise ship um, that is currently within the Pacific Ocean. At least at the time of this video, it might have... I mean, it's been all over the place throughout this past year and a half. It went to some undisclosed locations, but it did actually head over to Marseille. That's the only thing I can re reveal, um, where like all the other Disney cruise ships were at the time, so... As you can see, um, boarding is just getting underway, so they aren't scheduled to leave for another five hours. Uh, so this is the B, the B Street Pier. This is the usual cruise ship terminal. Uh, yesterday, actually, the day before I filmed this, uh, a coning stand was docked here. It's going to come back in a few days. Um, it's on a little one-week Mexican Rear cruise. The Disney Wonder is coming up right over here, and it's headed on a... See, a few years ago, they had an itinerary called Halloween on a Heist. So, look at this. Now you can see it. I don't know if you can see it, but this actually is re ready to get on board. Over on the gangway. And then at the same time, they are loading luggage, cargo, and other things on here as well. So, that's all the supplies for all the various onboard restaurants. Okay, apologies for the wind if you can hear it. But anyways, here we go. Here's the other side of the wonder. As you can see, the navigational bridge looks a bit different because um, I think we're on a veranda and we don't know the main part of the bridge is closed. Okay, so, let's have a look over here. Now, unlike the Dream, Fantasy, and other ones, this one does not have an aqueduct that goes between the two funnels. So a little fun fact, the Disney one has two funnels. Um, the forward one's just for show, the rear one has the exhaust for the onboard engines. The horn has a total of eight bellows, seven on the front and eight the one on the rear. The seven on the front constitute the Mickey whistle. And they call it that because a bridge officer presses the button in the shape of Mickey Mouse. 
and when that happens, it plays the first seven notes from Disney's corporate anthem, When You Wish Upon a Star. It kind of resembles an ocean liner. Which is the type of experience that is kind of sort of replicated on Disney Cruise Line. Now, the cruise ship I uh, actually intended to see was the Celebrity Millennium, which is next to it. So I'm going to walk back over to the Millennium and we'll see um, a little information about that. Um, the Millennium is a gas turbine cruise ship. I say gas turbine because the other it was powered by gas turbines. That was when it was built. Now it did carry a very unique livery, but then they, they changed it in the mid-2010s. And then they changed it recently and you're going to to the new one and Eclipse just received it. Now, according to the schedule, it looks like Eclipse could be coming back next spring. The Celebrity Millennium was, uh, was quite ironically named because it went into service at the start of the third millennium. That's why it's called the Celebrity Millennium. So we had the Century, which um, no longer comes here. It, it's uh, Morella Discovery something now. That was the Celebrity Century. And then after Century class, there was the Millennium class. Oh, it looks like there's a mist over there. I'm just looking ahead. Maybe you might get to see it. But anyways, um, very happy to have Celebrity Christmas back in San Diego. I've always been keen up, up to date on celebrities positions and I'm finally excited to see that they're back. So let's turn this around. Let's zoom in on this actually. Look at that. You're looking at what an amazing thing over here. Now I'll wait. Alright so Anyways, Millennium received its current livery around 2019 and it came here. It spent much of the pandemic, um, what should I say, um, off our coast and then it left. Now, um, in June, this, um, this one, the Millennium, was in the Netherlands. Um, well, more specifically, the territory of St. Martin. Um, and it was home port in Phillipsburg for a while and it did some island hopping cruises and when that concluded it came back around back over the canal and back over here so it's doing a couple of Mexican Riviera cruises and then it's gonna embark on a Panama Canal cruise I think uh, but good news for 2022 though is that Millenn the Celebrity Millennium is gonna be headed up to Canada around that time Hopefully, when their ban on when their ban on cruise ships gets lifted, hopefully, hopefully, and that is as of several sources. Of course, this information is all subject to change without further notice. So, yeah. Ooh. Okay. So let's zoom in over here. Look at that. There is a. Nice little class feature. I think it's where all the elevators are. Um, as you can see, most of the staterooms are like balcony staterooms. They're not like the infinite verandas, which are common on the edge class cruise ships. Um, sadly, there are no edge class cruise ships roaming the Pacific for the time being, so. Let's get a little bit closer. Okay, I'm a little bit closer now. So I've got a So the water that has been used um, in disinfecting everything here, that is all recycled. It gets treated before it does that though. So And then I'll zoom in here to see the anchor. A little bit of corrosion, but not too much. 
and the anchors there let for let's say it thought um it is um a waiting spot a spot at a uh, perfect day at coco k which is liberty cruises private island in the bahamas and then you can kind of see there's some doors down there as well and those doors down there are for the tenders so the tender boats would come up to one of those doors usually it's in the center midship area and usually it's on the opposite end um, and then they take people to shore. Now that practice has since ended at Coco Cay because there's a dock there now. So I uh, haven't seen any pier runners yet. Well, this is uh, embarkation day, so I don't think that's going to matter at this port. But um, but if you want to bring Cozumel in the, into the picture, then. Um, there is a point where we can just talk about pure runners all day long. And let's zoom up here. You can see the differences here. The navigational bridge is fully enclosed on this one. And you can kind of see some bridge lights up there. And then somewhere up there on that, up there, um, see where the thing is extending out from the superstructure a bit. That's where the Lido deck is. Now the Lido is where um, all the pools and tanning areas are on board. Not that today is the best day for that type of activity. I mean, we've had clouds earlier and they are just starting to break out here. So, and now would be a great time to mention this, but um, I now have a photography Instagram. Just search um, "shot by TSC" uh, on Instagram. You'll be, that's where I'm moving. All, I have all my photography over there now, so that my main page can be freed up for some other content. Um. All these other holes here. These ones. Uh, those are for all these uh, ropes that are hanging over here. That are basically holding this in place. Of course, they're expected to cast off around the sunset. So. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and get you the other end over here. I know this is a very long video clip, and I'm, I do apologize if some of the dialogue gets left out. All right, let's see. Ooh, okay. There's. Looks like the first passengers are getting ready to board the Millennium. There they go up the gangway. Cruising is finally back. So the way this is gonna, this works, um, just for the near, the near future, you go to the security, you present all the papers that they request, including anything related to COVID, and then you wait for boarding to be called, and then hop on board. All right. I'm gonna stand before. The Millennium looks so stunning in port and with the newly revolutionized livery. Um, I like the new livery by the way. And now let's see another cruise ship. Majestic Princess. Well, it looks like they have a little bit of entertainment going up over there. And this is actually a port of call rather than a home porting, so it's on the other side. Usually embarkations are on this side. Well, if it's just a port of call, it's on the other side. So we'll head over to the other side. You see how massive this thing is. Alright. 
Now you can see how massive this thing is. Let's get on the other side of this road. Look at that. Super massive. So this is what's called a royal class cruise ship. So the sisters are royal princess, regal princess, and then let me get over here. So also, I just want to let you guys know, next year in 2022, um, I think on the 8th of April, the Discovery Princess, which is actually still under construction as of this video, um, well, it's not its maiden voyage, it's actually its second voyage. Um, it's going to make a ma its maiden call at this slip right here. So this is, um, so everything you see about the Majestic Princess here, the Discovery Princess is going to look exactly like it. Uh, the Discovery Princess is actually the last in the royal class, so it's also kind of fun too. Let's go over to the side here. Now, another thing about this that I actually noticed right away, let's go to the other side here first before we look at that. Um, oh, look at those birds. Okay, so you can see here, um, when it was built, it had a translation of the name in Mandarin, but um, it got painted over translation got painted over recently um, well um, this cruise ship was named and put into commission in Shanghai so I think it was Shanghai it was somewhere in China so I'll move over here and as you can see whoa there's a warning over here. Security warning, keep 50 meters away. Oh, okay. Look at that. That must be new. Uh, the, you know how we have to keep two meters, we had to keep two meters apart for several months. All right. Since there's no cruise ship docked here at the Broadway Pier, let's get a few side pictures real quickly. And here are those side pictures. You have the bow right here. And then we're looking up at the funnel in the next one. Yep. Look at that. They literally shut this whole thing off right here. So that means there may be another cruise ship coming into this pier very soon. And when I mean soon, I mean maybe days from now. Now, look at this. Uh, you can literally see there's some of the Celebrity Cruises signage over here on the side. Because the Millennium was here a few days ago. So you can, I don't know if you can see the Celebrity logo up there. There it is. So you can kind of see there's some entrances, boarding banners. see some other classes that were on there on board the Millennium this is of course I think a debarkation banner for bus transfers and I mean also inside there are like little anchors like a Royal Caribbean group anchors Um, even though Navigator of the Seas won't be calling here anytime soon. Once again, there were some lights go there were some lights on in there, so it looks like something is going on inside the terminal. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and um, wrap this up here. Uh, we'll send it back to a few days ago to um, somehow outro this video. Give you one last look at the majestic princess, and it was home ported in Long Beach, and it's coming down here, and then it's gonna head over to uh, somewhere in Ensenada, I think. 
then it will head to head back to Long Beach. All right, we'll send it back. We'll send it back to Monday. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to turn on that notification bell. We'll see you guys in the next video, and as always, adios.